Alright guys, so sorry about any background noise. I'm not where I usually record my videos, but honestly, it should make the same difference. Um, welcome to a monster review. For beginners mostly, but I do go over the Mato mechanics since not too long ago. I was a, like a top player. Well, not top, but I had a great account, I think. And let me live my dream. This one is on Hydrorian. The most... Oh, I can put him with Clatch. That's epic. The most... Uh, uh, go, go in. The most undeniable monster ever released. And I'll explain why when you see his trait. First off, eh, that's so lackluster of a finisher. I wanted him to, like, shoot three cannonballs or something. All right, Hydrorian. Water and Metal Mythic. Which, he's my first Metal Mythic. And I really needed one. So I bought him. The Lassa is worried about her fellow Warmaster Elvira. So she refurbished... Whoa, that's really loud. Eh. So she refurbished and sent her an old artifact she always found useful whenever there was a war in her realm. Hydrorian has a cannon gun in integrated into his metal body. And it will surely help the angels when it comes time to reconquer the Celestial Paradise. Well... Little does the last I know. Elvira never used him. <laughs> like, literally never. Not once was Elvira like, you know what? We're facing all these fire demons. Why not use our OP water mech? Nope. Never crossed their mind. So first, let's talk about his trait. It starts off with Hardened, you know, at rank 1. Because he used to be a bounty hunt attacker fugitive. And since he's an artifact, he can't hold buffs. So you kind of had to wait, you know? Some people were like, oh, just keep him at rank one so you can hold buffs. That was kind of like their way of balancing it, I guess, for them. I don't know. It's weird when they release bounty hunt attackers who are artifacts so they can't be buffed. So at rank one, you turn into an artifact. And obviously that already means like you can't really do anything against him. You can't give him triple damage. You can't mega possess him. You can't make him bleed. You can't do anything. Artifact means it's immune to all status effects. Good, bad, anything in between. Unless you trait disable him, you can't touch him. Second trait, cooldown immunity. Gives immunity to cooldown activation. So the only other denial, other than like, you know, the classic denials, like Mega Stun and Time Stop, is cooldown and stamina drain. So usually artifacts, it's like, yeah, you know, they're immune to stun, but you can still quit and activate him. Not Hydrorian. And I like that this is at rank 3, because rank 4 and rank 5, people never get them there. And those are kind of like traits you don't really need. But rank 3, honestly, he's almost complete right there. Cooldown immunity. So that means, unless you're stamina draining, you can't deny him. And he's got stamina draining, like stamina recovering relics. So he's really fully undeniably an attacker. He's really fully an undeniably... No, but, duh, I'm getting so tongue twisted today. He's an undeniable attacker in every sense of the word. And just for the sake of going over it, rank 4 he gets a status caster area days. You'll always be fighting taunt dodge area, taunt mega taunt. So this will only ever hit on them. And unless you like don't want Barbaness, Barbaric, no, Goliathess to hit you with reverse healing, it's kind of pointless. Now, there is the chance you fight, like, a Taunt Monster, um, Serpentex, and, what, Uriel, and it lands on him, and he just barely misses, but it's, it's, it's so rare that this is gonna come in too much handy. And then rank 3, Status Caster Area Drowned. Now, I would say, I would absolutely say this is amazing for the Fire Meta we live in, but the Fire Meta is tort is immune to tortures, man. Look. All the monsters in the meta from Fire, Elvira Demon Slayer, she is team immune to torture. And then she's on, like, every team. She's the most used monster right now. So you're going to fight her. She's going to have that immune to torture, and then this isn't really going to land. It'll be nice for, like, you know, the random battle, the dungeons you take them out into when they have drowned. But it's honestly not that usable. Status casters will always get swiped away first turn. Let's look at his finisher. Steam Ejection. Deals moderate special damage to all enemies, applies boiling, ignite, and mega stun. I really like that. 
because it's special damage for an attacker who's water and metal applies two great dots and denies so if you, if you were just like in a battle of outlasting another attacker boom that finisher should end it all right artificial waterfall heavy damage to one enemy applies drowned pretty good scalding 1.0 deals heavy damage applies boiling even gooder on a one turn cooldown oh i'm so excited to see his full moveset um, i'll feed him straight to 100 because i need to plop him in the rank up survival dungeon now so let's start off with his beginner moves i would say bad but they're not bad water engine deals moderate water damage to one enemy yes gems on a 30 stamina zero cooldown it's 45 so it's high moderate it's almost heavy so i mean honestly i'm thinking i'm gonna run it but let me see his other moves first war machine 30 stamina zero cooldown just an aoe um i don't know that's really your pick but i'd never run it artificial waterfall Heavy water damage to one enemy. Applies drowned. On a one turn cooldown, 36 stamina. I only think you really need one of these. Because I want to see his other attacking moves. I think he doesn't really need both. But the fact that they're both the same cost on a one turn cooldown. You just get to choose if you want boiling or drowned is quite nice. Although, boiling is the better status effect. Instant dry deals heavy water damage to all enemies Ooh, heavy and heavy aoe is so rare but it's so powerful so it's got a high cooldown high stamina cost but it's a powerful water aoe in a fire meta applies a powerful water and fire dot um so honestly i think it's a guaranteed to run all right scalding waterfall 2.0 Ooh, very heavy water damage to one enemy. It applies drowned boiling to one enemy. On a two turn cooldown, so you can have um, Scouting Waterfall 2.0 and Scouting 1.0. So that one, you just have a one turn cooldown heavy so that you always have an attack. And then for the other one, you have the very heavy water damage. With two dots on one enemy, if you're fighting a dodge area monster and you need that single attack, this is a fantastic single. Let's see. Washing routine. Uh, just a moderate AoE with drown at the exact same cost. But for less damage and the worst dot, I would not run it. And ooh, enemy detected. Deals massive metal damage to one enemy, applies days. Another two turn cooldown, so you'll always have a massive or heavy or very heavy move to cycle in. But yeah, massive metal in a light meta oh i cannot wait to show this off plus days so let me rune him out so obviously you gotta go two attack runes and one health rune is how i see it and i'll just i'll go level four because there's a lot of tanks being released right now and i don't want to be out of like good health runes when that happens and look now we can really replace captain copperbeard with hydroid that's so awesome so i don't really have any good relics for him honestly you need for this guy to have a stamina regaining relic so that he's fully undeniable but for now until i craft those relics i'll just throw those on him and yeah an undeniable attacker but you need him at at least rank three for that so get him there so, hmm, you know what? I want to attack one of my friends. That sounds real bad on paper. So look, let me just showcase it right here. I'm friendly attacking one of my war mates. Or teammates, yes. So look, stamina drain, they're all denied. Which, if I try to do that on Hydrorian, he could have just been holding a stamina regaining relic, and he'd be fine. So look at that, even at level 100. He can do all that damage. And then you can hit any one of them with two powerful dots. You can hit them all with boiling, which is what I think I'll do in this scenario. So, boom. Takes a lot of punches back. Let's, let's get a damage mirror up in here. Alright. So, then I'm going to apply another good dot. 
curse. All right, he's dead. You're weak to him. That, and then boom, very heavy instant kill. And then stun, and that's all she wrote. Yeah, I needed, cause he's my first metal mythic, and honestly, he's an amazing first one. Like, wow. I definitely got to rank him up very soon. So let's see. Where is he at? Hydrorian. Oof, but I don't have the most of this stuff at this point. So tomorrow, I'll get him ranking up at rank 1. But for now, he's got to go in this rank up survival dungeon. Now, I think I explained this dilemma to you guys earlier. About how it was Clatch or Hydrorian. And I need Hydrorian at rank 2 by the end of 2 weeks. Because I'm about to be competed in, competing in wars. And wars are only going to get harder and harder. And I need a rank 2 for every element, you know? I don't want to be holding my team down because I couldn't, like, compete. So Hydrorian was my answer, and boy is he an answer. <laughs> so, yeah. Can't wait to get him at rank 1. Because just like Goliath S, rank 1 is where they really start to get good. So, yeah, definitely going to be working on him. I really love everything about him as it is. Oh, yeah, and um, little update on this. I've been doing these um beast dungeons, right? And now I finally have a health beast. So, uh, I can level them up. What? Level up. Whoa. Um, I guess I'll spend one gem. Boom. All right. A level two um, health beast right now. So now, look at this. If I take him into the battle, and this will especially work for Clatch 2, which I really like. But look, I don't need to be that much stronger, but look at the health increase. Now he's super tanky. Like, he's almost 300,000 with only one health rune at level 100. So, yeah. I love it. A tanky, undeniable attacker with great dots and great damage output. And obviously, biggest thing, you can't give him triple damage. You can't give him evasion. He's got to tank attacks until he dies. And his only way to, like, regen anything is by relics. Or by, like, fruit taster. You know? Someone who heals the percent doesn't give regen. And heals the stamina doesn't, like, give stamina regen. But still. An amazing pick overall. Honestly, if you get him, like, then you are lucky you, you know? He's so great. I don't even know what to say. So, I think that's about it for this video. I'm just going to start ranking him up now. I'm definitely going to be enjoying Hydrorian a lot. Um, so, hope you enjoyed this review. Hope you found it helpful. I know it was kind of, like, somewhat off topic, and these gosh darn cicadas were so loud during some points. I'm so sorry if that made the video unwatchable. If it really, like, if you guys comment enough, I'll just re-tape the video. But I thought I, I, I don't know. I don't know how it sounds. But that's about it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like to support the video, support my channel. Leave your comments. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Um, do you like him? Would you get him? He counters a lot of the Mado right now. And, yeah, subscribe to join the Crab Army. We have reached 98 subscribers. We're only two away from 100. That's a big milestone, and we're not going to stop there. So, be here before 100. And that's about it. Hope you have a great day. Um, have fun in this new season in Monster Legends. And that's about it. Your favorite Omnius Crab, sign.